Hello and welcome to another episode of Live Talks with me, Ayo Thawale. We also have the wizard. And we have in the studio, I like to call him Doc. That's my pet name for him. He's my mate. I haven't known him for long, but he's my brother from another mother. A.K.A. Ryan Richardson. A.K.A. Arcadia. In the studio. Proper introduction. That yeah, is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. I got love for you, bro. I got love for you, bro. Well, man. Nice What's that on the table? I don't want it on the table. If that's you could drink it, it's empty. empty. That's an empty. I right, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Yeah. Nice one. Thank you. And it's a full bottle of water if you need it. Oh, cheers, man. Nice My one. man. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Arcadia. Ryan, what do you want me to call you? You can call me whatever you like. Doc, uh, if you like Doc, call Doc, me Doc. Doc, yeah, all right, let's, just, let's talk about this guy, yeah? So <laughs> I met this gentleman on the poetry circuit, right? And um, like I love poetry. If you know me, you know I love poetry. I perform, I love it. I think it's, it's like, for me, it, it's like me having been able to go into my proverbial toy box and play with my toys hmm. rather than deal with the nonsense of life. Mm -hmm. Like, so I'm playing around with stuff and then we get to perform it and it's nice to perform it as well. It's like you're playing with your toys and all that. And I saw you perform and he had, he's had he got this energy. You'll see him on the show, he's got these eyes when he gives you the eyes, the eyes. Have you ever seen Back to the Future with the doc? And he's just like, he went on stage and I think it was a combination of two things. Hmm. It was a combination of the your intensity hmm. um, and then... Where he was, it was like, you could do one poem, but you got to be quick. You got to hurry up. You got to yeah. do, you got to do one. You got to do yeah. one. And it's like, they really rushed us when other people had a lot of time. So he was rushing. So you went, you got on and you just kind of went a bit fast, but mm. the fastness came, it came across as that kind of frantic, mad scientist, but there's so much intelligence there. And there's so much coming out, but you got to listen to what's going yeah. on. Else you'll miss it kind of thing. Yeah. The dot from Back to the Future. And that's why my pet name, my nickname for my brother from another mother is Doc, but his name is Ryan Richardson, aka Arcadia. In the studio today. Nice one. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's <laughs> going on? Yeah, man. No, I, do you know what? I, pre I really appreciate you noticing things like that because as much as, yeah, you're right, We sometimes the times are getting rushed because there's a lot of people on the lists and stuff that want to perform, but I do like performing things fast, though. But w com what comes with that, unfortunately, because I have a craft for the writing and the art, the bars get missed. If you're, okay. if you're, you're, if you're not listening, yeah, yeah. And I, I think poetry should be, you know, honed in on for each word that's said. But with that said, I love a fast flow, man. I, I'm a sucker <laughs> for it. This you know guy is mean? he's, he's special, isn't he? He's special. <laughs> it's good because I think, like, even with with what you're saying, yeah. Because re rehearsing, I want to slow stuff down and sometimes want words to resonate and use the the, 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 the language, right? Mm, yeah. But some things, it's like you say them in your speed and then sometimes people only get it, like they get it when they get home. They're like, oh, yeah. if, shit, if, if they if even they get do, it. I don't know. Like, they might, then they might get the third time or the fourth time if, they get, if they're lucky enough to hear the same poem again. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, that's, uh, you're right. Because that's something I'm trying to tell myself. You know, like when I go to open mic to open mic, I'm like, oh, I've, I've got to have a new poem ready but that's not the case man like how many people is there in the world that haven't heard just because I know that I've performed that poem three times doesn't mean to say that this next open mic I go to yeah. they've not you know what I mean there might be one person there, but, but even if they have so what you can watch a film or listen to a song more than once you know what I mean same with a poem like any art have you seen The Matrix? of course I have yeah, you know when she goes you know what's really going to blow your mind? go on it's that each time you rehearse it, you know, you know what I'm talking about, like the Oracle, you know, it's really gonna, <laughs> we're gonna mess with your noodle now. Like, is, Love it. each time you rehearse it, you're experiencing it differently. Yes. So you see different nuances. 100%. So unless you, unless you continue to do the same piece, you can't, you won't understand how far it can go to what you could do with it. Then you have the, you have the, you have the time where you had something that you'd done at twice the speed. Mm -hmm. Now you're doing that double slow speed mm. but it's exactly the same piece but it means something different not only to the people listening to it but to you also yeah, 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 yeah. and that is the beauty of having certain pieces and you don't throw things away Carl Ramsey told me this you can have one piece and make that piece for one whole year make that piece a masterpiece mm. work on it put bits on it like uh, stickle bricks Stickle bricks is really old. That might be before your time. A little but, bit. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, like add things like Lego bricks onto yeah, it. And, yeah. and what started off as this now becomes like some Megasaurus thing. Like, and you can grow on it. So yeah, never yeah, throw anything right. away. Keep doing, don't worry about the audience. It's, it should be about yeah, you. 100%. It should be about you. But I'm still new to the whole performing side of things. Like I've been writing for, for a while, but the performing, 
is yeah. like new. So it's like such a massive learning curve for me. And I, I'm willing to learn everything I can. Um, but you know what, with that said, it's weird. It's made me think of something that happened to me the other day. I was rehearsing or, you know, practicing a performance as you do. And something fucking weird happened to me the other day. What? So <laughs> I was, I'm, I'm rehearsing Love this poem. Eyes, man, I'm rehearsing this poem. Right, honestly, this never happened to me. I'm rehearsing this poem. And I, I took a certain line out of this poem because I was like, you know what? It lacks sincerity. I was like, it just didn't feel right. So I took it out and I was rehearsing with it out. And it just naturally came back in. But with it coming back in, then brought on another line that was so self-aware and it, and it fitted in with the poem so well. I made that line that I took out, made it work again, even better than it ever did before. And it was yeah. like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> I yeah, felt like I was yeah. in like a matrix or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was, and it was all, and that only comes with practicing if I hadn't practiced that performance on that day, that would never have happened. Yeah. And now it made the poem a totally rap track. Yeah. And now that's like one of my favorite pieces and I'm going to be performing it very soon. Good. So I'm looking forward to good, it. Good, good. I'm looking forward to hearing it too. I mean, I think, I do believe that um, um, workshopping your stuff is imperative. I don't think mm. I do it enough. But like you said, when you do do it, you see... You start, it's almost like, this guy keeps making matrix analogies, but it's almost like you see the matrix within your own piece. Yeah. It's serious. And when you can see, like, the, you're older, I mean, you pause it, you just, like, you can see pausing, you can change things around. It's just, it's so surreal. Yeah. What, oh, there's so many questions I want to ask you. Um, hmm. Let's leave the, 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 because you, one thing, you perform without your phone. Hmm. You're saying you're new, hmm. but you perform without your phone. Hmm. I love that. Mm. I don't. I don't use a phone either. Yeah. I love, but I've got a, 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 a acting base and background. That's why I was my base was in okay. acting. So that's where I come from. Performance anyway. So it yeah. might be a bit different from other poets. I'm not taking away from any poet who uses their phone either. No, of course not. But I love that because then I can get into you. Mm -hmm. If you if you fuck up, you fuck up. But I can still get into you, and you can get into me. Like with the pose, that sad pause. Um, but you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, hundred percent. With the poetry, how important it do you think that is? To go off. Yeah, go off just off my heart. Off, but yeah, for me, it's it it's the difference between just uh, all right. It's the difference between having it as a bit of text and a bit of and and a few thoughts to it being my art. That's the difference for me, um, and also the difference between reading and performing, obviously, but. You know, it's something I never purposefully tried to go off by heart. It's just something that feels right for me. Mm. I can I can have fun with it. I can play with it and I can be, I feel like it's like this. All right. If I read, I feel like the kid observing the playground. If I know it off by heart, I can be in the playground playing. Ooh, Do you know what I mean? Give me three. That's <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> I can see what kind of show this is going to be. But that's, that, nice. yeah, that's kind of, I never thought of it like that, but you asking me that's just. Yeah, no, it's nice. Poets, man, we just connect dots. And yeah, it, you know what yeah, I mean? that's nice. So, it's beautiful. What, what, yeah. What, what, what was you like Playful. leading nicely into it as a kid? Mm -hmm. Different. <laughs> 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 My mum had a tough time with me, bless her, man. Um, I think Are you still with us? Yeah, 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 man. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, nice, I, I live with her now because of nice, nice. circumstances. Yeah. Ah, me um, too. I live with my mum too. Yeah, man. Nice. I love my mum. It's good. It's yeah, family's yeah. important, man. Like people can look at things in, in like, in, oh, I live with my mum. No, it's a good thing that you've still got that, that connection. Yeah, I'm always worried about being judged, but uh, at the same time, yeah. fuck, fuck, fuck him. him. Fuck him. <laughs> fuck him. <laughs> I was going to say you, that. You, fuck no, him. fuck <laughs> him. Do you know why? Because you know why I say yeah. fuck him? Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm a big man, but we, we, we live in a big house. But my thing is, it's financially okay for me now. It helps me out financially with all my kids and everything yes. but I get to see my mum <clears> on a regular basis <throat> with all her nuances and everything some mm -hmm. people don't have their family around so them true. like that yeah, Covid yeah. showed us like my mum born me your mum born you uh, she's the reason we're here it's, it, as much as she might get on my nerves certain times of course. it's nice Everyone to be able does. to do yeah to do things and be around them so yeah power to you bro yeah, nice one, man. power to you go on yeah, um, what was the first what was the question originally? Um, what was you like as a, as a oh, little one? Oh, yeah, 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 man. I was as very, a young man, because you playground, getting into... You yeah, could go from whatever I've been thinking about this a lot lately, actually. Good. Like, um, I was, I always had a lot of underlined anger, and I don't really know why. I think I'm starting to come to light why. 
But um, yeah, man, as a kid, I just had a lot of uh, aggression that I wanted to get out and didn't really know what to do with it. Hmm. Um, from an early around? teen, my dad, he's around, but he's no, not. Was he around when he was younger? Oh, he, uh, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. I w- he, yeah, yeah. All right. Physically, yes. All right. It's a bit of a long story. We talk about what you want to talk about. What yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, nice one, man. Yeah, man. I, well, I, look, I quickly learned. It's all kind of interconnected, to be honest. I quickly learned that in my early teens, I, I wanted to self-medicate. So I discovered, I think the only thing I really learned how to do well in school was probably Bill Azoop. Yeah. Like, <laughs> probably. Like, do you know, do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, I yeah, really yeah, 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 yeah. You focus on it. Like, I knew, I knew people at school like that. They'll, Mate, bring, they'll, bring, they'll build baseball bats. And yeah. I was like, like proper <laughs> baseball bats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Triple, and then, but, it was an art. It was an art form yeah. back when we were younger. It was an art form. But you know what? It was weird because I grew up thinking, obviously, like, you know, weed makes people lazy and all this. Da, 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 da. But when I started smoking weed, I got up earlier. I had a shower in the morning. Wow. I got my uniform ready just because I knew I was going to meet a friend of mine and we was going to... Uh, do you know what I mean? It was I was more oh, productive because I knew I was so excited to go and, as bad as it is at like 13 years old. I was so excited to go and blaze a zoot before school. Mm. Whereas before that, it was like I fucking hated school, like didn't want to go. And mm. then it was like a shift happened in like year nine. I don't know. But now I'm coming... Now I'm an adult. I realise I, I was self-medicating. That's what it was. Mm. for an abundance of reasons really um but yeah growing up was interesting to observe it from now yeah now that I can, now that i'm a man i can see it for, yeah, it, for, yeah. what, it, for, for what it really is yeah for, for what, what you perceive it to be because you're still we're, yeah. we're constantly learning uh, of, of how old course. you I'm 31. 31. I, I remember 31. I'm 47. I remember 31. When you go You're up again... 47? I'm 47, buddy. Oh, yeah, mate. You look about 41. Yeah, I wish I was fucking 31 like <laughs> you, you can't... <laughs> Sorry about the C word. It just came out of me. It just came out. <laughs> um, it can't really come out of me. Um, what was that? What was it? What was it? What was it? <laughs> yeah, but that... that like, it's, it's, it's a double-edged sword for me. Mm. Yeah? Because yeah. you say you're self-medicating. Mm. Like and you had you might have had things going on in your in your in your in your life at the time, but then you said you getting up and being the spliff was was something you really enjoyed. You went to go. It was something you you was drawn to. Do you understand? Yeah. At puberty, in, in the age of puberty, different people do different things. Yeah. But a lot of people doing mostly experimenting <clears throat> with drugs at that age. Mm. So you wasn't just people. You could you could it could be experimenting, self medicating, finding your way in the world. Do you know mm. what I mean? Yeah. And thanks God. Your brain's still functioning quite well enough, do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, so you uh, didn't yeah, do it wasn't too bad. Whatever you did, whatever drug you did and took, it wasn't too bad. Nah. Do you know but, what? And I don't God. regret any of it because Good. even though it was a lot of like bad times, I don't regret none of it because I couldn't have, you know, that whole thing, you can't get to where you are without all that stuff. And it's obviously You wouldn't be you wouldn't be, I wouldn't be who I am now. Yeah, you wouldn't be who you are now. And right now. and now I know I'm a I'm 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 a level of self awareness. Where for one, I know that all that stuff was who it's made me who I am today, mm. and two, I'm at the start of another journey now. I feel like I've I've hit a point in my life where it's like that was that. Now this is this. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And this is about to start something. I don't know what. But yeah. I know something's gonna happen because of how I've shifted my own life. Like I've put the work in to feel like this, and I've always I wanted to feel like this for like ten years, and I thought that's a myth. It ain't gonna happen. And now. It, it, it is, it's, I you, am how, like this. How did you do it? Poetry, man. Poetry's saved my fucking life. Yeah. Yeah, but the weird thing was, it was always there since I was like seven years old. I just yeah. didn't really, really, really. When you say there, what are you talking about? So when you was young, so when you was, when, yeah, when you was like five, six, what was you like at school? What was going on? And then where, where, yeah, man. I, 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 do you know what? It's weird. I said about self medicating with drugs, but really, before the drugs, I was self medicating with music. I like that. Like most people, yeah, that yeah, was exactly. your go to, innit? That's, yeah. that's what saved you, yeah, man. Um, yeah, it was, <laughs> it, it's interesting now that I look back because my peers back then who were listening to, you know, Garage and and it was like the turn of when grime was just coming in to play like that shift. Yeah, you're not younger than me, mate. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, yeah, man. But that's that's kind of been my, you know, I don't know what the word is I'm looking for. That's been my it's been your journey. That's, your... that's what's driven me. Okay. Um, the driving force. Yes. So, yeah, and and this is what I mean about the poetry. It's always been there. It's always been in me, and I feel like I I can't. 
not do anything else now. I'm lucky enough to discover what my passion is. Yeah. It was there. It was there for whatever reasons. It was there. Um, I just had a hiatus with it for like 20 years. Yeah. What does just, hiatus mean? I, I think I, I actually don't even know. I think it means like <laughs> you leave it alone, basically. Yeah, for like, yeah, or like yeah. go on holiday from it. Oh, what's, what's hiatus? Is that, is that what hiatus is? You know. Heard it, but I'm Google it. Google it. If I don't know something, I'm saying no. I mean, it's all, I dictionary. It. Dictionary or Google it. But I'm yeah, pretty but sure yeah, it means like have a holiday from it. Do you know what I mean? Like you go on a yeah, hiatus. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'll keep talking. Now. I'm gonna but yeah, it. um, cool. But yeah, I left. I like it, to know yeah, things, right? for like 18 years, it was like always kind of present in the background, like the music and poetry, uh. but never really at the foreground. Drugs was always at the foreground and wanting to change how I feel. Uh. But now, oh yeah, that's what you said. How did I do it? Yeah, how do you do it? Because you said now you're seeing poetry. 10 years, 10 years ago, you wanted to get where you are yeah, now and you're here now. Yeah, yeah, that's what you I could, said. I could, nice I, could, I, could, I could concur with you because I, I, I just, I, I identify with you so fucking much, bro. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. I really identify with you. Yeah, yeah. Right. I see your stage. I really identify okay. with you. So, but continue, please. Yeah, it's an amalgamation of things, man. First What's amalgamation mean? I'm fucking about. I'm fucking about. I don't, <laughs> He's got big words. Like, Jesus. No, 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 I don't even know. Oh. No, you do. Doing the right context. I don't want to be that guy, though. Doing the right context. <laughs> right, you want to be ubiquitous. Cool. I, uh, what the fuck does that mean? That means everywhere. Uh, here we go. <laughs> ah, I don't know Omnipresent. What synesthesia? Yeah, synesthesia. Let's go synesthesia. Let's go synesthesia. Last one. Synesthesia. Meredith told me that. Meredith told me that. Yeah. You know Meredith from yesterday. Yeah, yeah. She was on the show. Synesthesia. Synesthesia is when the senses cross over, so mm. you can smell a painting. Yes. Or taste a poem. Yes. That's yes, synesthesia. Yes, 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 it's a yes. beautiful word. I've heard that a couple of times. It's a beautiful mics. word. It's a beautiful word. Yeah. yeah. It's a beautiful word. But go on, I want you to um, know more. I want you to know more. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a mixture of things. I'm going to simplify my words now. No, no, it's don't, a don't, don't, don't. Please things. don't. Please don't, Arcadia. <laughs> Please don't. Um, yeah. First and foremost, the poetry. I think, like, you know, like the, the, the normal stuff, the exercising, what you put into your body is so. Fucking important as well. Like it's our fuel, right? You eat shit, you feel shit. You eat good, you feel good. It's kind of not all the time. Like it's not no two cases are the same. But do you know what I mean? They're the basics, obviously. Um, but I just honed in on that, and I went sober at the turn of this year. And um, nice one, man. Yeah. Um, Me too. I like that. Well done. Well done. Yeah, that well was done. something that I always what well, I wanted for the past year, and I didn't think I could. And then it was like, you know what? If I remove alcohol. Let's see what happens. Let's just try it. So I did dry January. I was like, let's just try it. And it dry you know January. I had the best month of my fucking life. I was going to open mics. The writing was like, I was like, oh shit, this is the stuff I always wanted to write. And, You're alive um, now. Alive. I was living properly. Like yeah. I don't need that shit anymore. And that's what I realized. I was like, you know what? Let's just give it a go. And I'm now three and a half months sober. Um, well done. Living a life. You know, there's up and down days, of course, but yeah. that's life. Yeah. Um, your eyes, you're fully awake, you're fully wide, you're, you're there, you're, you're cognitive, you're in the game, yeah, you're here. I love you're my present. brain, man. I mean, I was regularly taking something for nearly 20 years yeah. and now I've got my brain back. And you're right, it's, I'm lucky yeah. that no nothing fucked my brain up, basically. Well, you don't know if it's fucked up till you're dead, but it hasn't fucked you up that badly. <laughs> no, no, no I'm, I'm just messing I'm, with you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, but it's still, right, it's still working. It is working and it's working better than it ever has. Good. But the weird thing with that is it's kind of gone back to how it used to be when I was a kid, obviously, before all the drugs and everything. It was like... Yeah. Because it's like, oh, shit, okay, this is why I wanted to self-medicate because, like, the feelings are really real. you got to face it. And, yeah, but now, nah, but I know that because I'm aware of it. I'm like, all right, I don't need none of that. I'm going to do it head on, tackle it properly, not just sweep the problem under the rug. Um, well done. But And the poetry has been a massive catalyst for that. Like, going to open mics, knowing I've got writing, knowing that there's people there that want to listen to your words and your life basically it's like it's the cheapest therapy session i you can get at an open mic do you know what i mean but with more than one therapist there's a room full of full of them and they don't have to be qualified because everyone lives a fucking life that's your qualification everyone's got experiences you don't need a bit of a certificate and don't get me wrong i got nothing against like education obviously it's great but like you know what i'm trying to say in it like i know you're saying no but it's, it's, it, i know what you're trying to say and you're saying it and i think it's very poignant and it's beautiful you don't, you don't yeah. have to be a doctor to, to analyse me. And the wickedest thing is, like, life is the best educator there is. Yeah. So you, when people come up, like, we're only talking now because you went and done an open mic, bro. Yes. Do you get exactly. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think if you've been on a show that I've curated, we've spoken 
at length. We connected after the first show when I met you. Mm-hmm. You probably was. You probably didn't even comprehend who I am. I couldn't comprehend who you were. Mm-hmm. But we're friends now, as far yeah, as I'm yeah, concerned. Yeah. You know what I mean? It all came from that. So it uh, don't care if you're clinical or just a normal human being. It, the therapy that you get a poetry, in, I love it. Like you're yeah. right. You're not talking nonsense. You're talking. You're on the money, mate. Yeah. yeah. Please continue. Dude, I'm is. listening. I'm letting back. It is because and it and it's even more so now because I'm in between jobs. I'm like even though I have a really good therapist, I'm like right. Well, I can't probably afford that right now until I get into. Do you know what I mean? So it's like open mics. They're my therapy, man. And it's like it's so. And I recommend it to anyone like seriously even if you don't write poetry just go there chill you can meet some people even if you don't want to meet people that's cool like it's so and in london there's there's such a fucking there's loads you can do you can go to one every night of the week if you want to like it's not just for poetry it's just it's for it's community you know it's and i've found a place where i can actually be myself without having to drink or take something do you know what i mean and that's so i guess in a way you could say the poet like poetry and open mic is my new drug but mate yeah. there's there's no fucking come down with this drug and there's and there's nothing but positivity in it it's beautiful. <laughs> so beautiful. yeah it's beautiful right? I, yeah it's it's, beautiful. it is my new drug and fuck it it's the best one cheapest yeah. one and there's no there's no bad sides to it yeah i mean i've <laughs> What we won't talk about, I don't think we'll, I, I don't want, no, there ain't no bad size. It depends how you look at it, there ain't no bad size. But I really appreciate what you're saying because it doesn't matter what I've been doing. I could, go, I perform, people see me perform, I think I'm all right. I've got loads to say, I've got loads to get mm. off my chest. Yeah. However, I could go into a poetry event, sit at the back, and I hear other people, like when I heard you, and hear other people, and hear that their stories is very similar to mine. Mm. Or they've they've gone through things that I've conquered, I couldn't conquer, I thought I couldn't conquer. And they, or they, they're going through things that I can maybe talk to them about and help them out with. Yeah. It's just that realisation that you're not the only person going through stuff, and mm-hmm. identification that I can identify with. Some of the stuff you're saying, the energy you're feeling, the way anything like that, just, just breathing out. Just breaking yeah. the monotony from life and breathing out. Yes. It's why it's so beautiful. You you it you is. it's like you what you said about reading it and actually being in it. Mm. When I go to poetry events, it's like I'm in it. And for whatever amount of time, if you let your hair down, you can really just Yeah. Just relax and enjoy the the, the moment that is poetry. It's yeah, just so man. beautiful, God. I feel like we live in a weird paradox where, especially in London or any city, like we've broke what it means to be in a community and you can really find those places in poetry events. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, wait, that's, of it. you don't, I, it helps if you're into poetry because it gives you that bit more of a remit to it. But at the same time, you don't, man. Like, there's so, so I've met so many, in the last three months, going to so many different open mics, the amount of just nice people I've met. Do you know what I mean? Like, even if I didn't perform, like, I've spoken to people not about poetry at poetry events. It's a community, man. It's so many fucking people you wouldn't have spoken to if you was walking yeah. down the street or if you just in a pub having a drink. Like everyone's, everyone. We're all in the same boat, but ignoring each other. It's like we've got this clear. It's like with the COVID when COVID was was a bat and we had the clear fucking screens. Plastic, yeah. It's like that all the time before and after COVID. Invisible ones. But you go to a poetry event, you move all them away. Like some, yeah. some of them anyway. Most, like, most people not, move them away, yeah. Not all of them, but um. And that's the thing because I think I think um uh, uh, when when I know when if I'm if I'm reciting poetry, there's there's truth in it. It's coming from the heart and mm. the brain and everything. And I can tell you my truth. You can have an opinion, but I'm telling you my truth. And I think that rawness, you know, and I'm telling you my truth, and I'm being I'm bearing myself to the world. Yeah, it's the same people. A open to that. up to that open up yeah, and, yeah, and then yeah, they can yeah. okay yeah I yeah. kind of felt like that as well it? and it breaks that plastic thing shattered yes. and that's what I think it does because people like the stuff I would say that I wouldn't just say to you mm. like that scream thing I feel like screaming you know I feel a bit mad I want to scream yeah that scared the I shit would... out of me yesterday <laughs> when you did that <laughs> <laughs> it woke me up I was like fuck it <laughs> But I wouldn't. I couldn't just have that conversation with just anybody nah. about how I feel sometimes about yeah, just yeah. screaming but I think everybody in that room it's felt like that at one time or another. Just you just want to scream. Yeah, man, we're animals at the end of the day. But we we got to go on like we ain't. It's so it's fucking. We bizarre. don't have to. It's just it's just society it's telling us we, exactly. have to, but we we don't have to. Everyone knows it as well. Which, but it's just like. But I, this is why I can't recommend open mics enough because, yeah, it's just f- freeing, man. And you know what? Even if 
it's scary as shit. It really is. But jumping on the mic, and even if it's not, it doesn't have to rhyme. It can just be anything. Just bring your diary and just being being vulnerable is like if you feel shaky and nervous, that's so good. Because yeah. it's like what about that, that girl yesterday? Go on. The rawness. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know her name. Alicia. She, she was amazing. Alicia. Yeah, she yeah, was yeah, shaking. Yeah. She was yeah, shaking yeah, 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 like yeah. that. I know. I she was shaking. Last night. I, was like, I need her details, please. Smashed it. Yeah. No. Night. Yeah. I need her details. She was amazing. She ta- like we've yeah, had someone. Please, we've had someone that's taken their life that's been on this show. Really? Yeah. So when she was talking and everything, it was like it was just Hit kind of, it was going through me, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. It's going through me. Yeah. Man. This is what I mean. Like people get and get up and talk about proper like affecting shit, and it's so good because it's again it's their therapy. That it's life. Their this life. They're displaying their soul and what it makes them feel vulnerable, and that's we we all need that. And and open mics are little pockets of greatness where you can go and do that and it doesn't mm. have to be in a a rap or a rhyme or it hasn't got to be anything it's just you just mm. as long as you know what you want to say or write it read it like, like it, the roar is full oh, I can't recommend it enough and you don't yeah, even really you have, you keep, we're going to keep recommending it but yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what I mean but you don't even really need money for it either that's the beauty like I don't like it. it's a hobby that uh, that's I want to be a bit more of a hobby and you don't need to pay shitloads for it. It's just there. Mm. People do it. People supply it. So yeah, it's so therapeutic as well. What's, uh, the, what's the pathway for poets? Like, obviously, like a musician, you're a rapper or whatever. Right? Yeah. You beca- then you make a song and then you sell your song. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I don't feel like there's like a platform for poets. It's a fucking good point. I think. I think and there it's is something I've been thinking about recently. What, what are the steps? I think. I think. God, you want to elaborate? I, really I think the steps. Well, my step, like, let me give you my, my breakdown. You give me yours. Yeah, yeah. So my thing is like, you write, you decide you want to do poetry. You mm. write a poem. You write a couple of poems. You decide yeah. you want to perform it. You go to open a mic mm. or you get yourself booked. You perform it a couple of times. You fine tune that thing. Then you're you're performing it to a level that you know you, you've got it in your back pocket. Then you do you you create a compilation. You create a compilation. The compilation becomes a book. You create the book. You show the book. Yeah. That is that is the proverbial path. For poets, like you, you write, you perform, yeah. you you create a book, you sell your book because that's those that's your works on paper that you're giving mm-hmm. to other people, you know. Yeah. But I think it's 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 more than that. It should be more than that. It should. And, I feel and like now so you can elaborate, but that's what yeah. I think it is at the moment. But that it should be a lot moment, more. It should 100%. be more than that. It, yeah, I feel like in something I've been definitely thinking about. There needs to be, and don't get me wrong, I'm not putting anything down that already exists. It's fucking great, but I feel like. I tried searching on YouTube the other day for like spoken word and poetry and you can find it, but not like I've seen some like shit's blown my mind in some open mics and it's not, I can't find it anywhere. Like, and it's like, like, yeah, it blows my mind that it doesn't exist. So I feel like I am, I feel like I'm subconsciously trying to make it slowly my mission. Maybe I should be a bit faster with it. (laughs) Slowly my mission to try and, get it more get create more of a platform for it because yeah man there's i mean there's yeah like you say it's obviously the rapper thing right like mm. on youtube and whatnot and you know i just yeah it's coming right the, the, the poetry man there's uh, obviously i'm i'm a po- i'm a poet right oh, I you still, didn't know it <laughs> i still feels weird me saying that but like i'm gonna be biased towards it but it's the art form it needs to be recognized more just by it i want it to be like like a household name like poetry because it, because it, it's saved my fucking life so i think it needs to be respected yes respected 100 like, percent. and then with that respect comes accolades with the accolades come yeah. finances and 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 certain other things like with if you make a track you know track people make money from rapping people make money from um, um singing dancing yeah. but acting uh uh all the all these sort of things yeah. like you can for, for like a dance crew could go up do a choreographed dance and get probably more than a poet does you know what i mean but we were, the, yeah. the work we're putting in i just don't think it's recognized how it's supposed it's to be recognized to say yeah this is this is worth this and this is worth that but it's for us to say this is our price or to mm. create that's what we're that's what i'm trying to create in that place yeah i was gonna say you're doing your thing though lex is doing something good lex is yeah yeah elevated to art you're doing something good once you're here you're part of everyone's part of this journey bro yeah you, you know what i'm saying it's 100%. just like standing up and saying all the things you're saying about poetry now as in the therapy all mm. the things it can do for people the 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 the, 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 the reason it, it saved you and helped you and then just 
getting our masterpieces. Mm. So I said, you want to work closer with you. We do, we do a couple of things because you yeah. got masterpieces. Then we get them out and you, t- you go in and you go in and like finish him. <laughs> love the Mortal Kombat <laughs> reference. Yeah, yeah I, love that. I have their heart or their brain in my yeah. hand, and it's, it's some people are, are drowning. Yes. There's a few words. Yes, said in the right context, it's the life ring, bro. Yeah, serious. And it, it, yeah, it's a life ring. I want to ask you about family. Yeah, go on. Family. What's your family like? How many brothers and sisters you got? Do you have brothers and sisters? I've got your... one sister. She's 10 years older than me. I got a pr- I'll be honest, my family's quite broke. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's quite like so diverse, family's, you know family's, what I mean? family's broke. Yeah, man. My mum and dad, they split up when I was about five. Um, I, my, me and my sister, we got different dads. Um, but she's my sister, you know, obviously. Like, Good. Well so, done. Um, well done. Um, How did that make you feel? Is that part of, you feel that's part of everything? That's gone on with you? Yeah, man, I love my sister. No, 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 no. The split at oh, five, split. what did it do oh, to yeah, you that's as a young man? That probably fucked me up. <laughs> Def- differently but you know like yeah because my dad's like he's he's a bit tapped like he's not what do you mean tapped like, like, if you don't want to like, talk like, about yeah, yeah, no, no, i'm not. happy to talk about it um but so he you know we've all got traumas right everyone has traumas yeah. uh, basically i'm like basically like, what's your trauma so obviously my dad's got <laughs> his trauma, yeah. um but he you know he comes from that generation he's like in his early 50s that generation of you know, you don't talk about y- your problems. You know, he's a man's man and fucking, you know, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm trying he's to say. Right? It, innit? But he didn't want to do anything other than, you know, like drugs and all the rest of it, right? So, and, he, and that kind of, I grew up around that. And then, so he was there, but this is what I mean. He was he there physically, there. but yeah, not, yeah, do you yeah, know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And, and I got, I'm now realizing that it's no, thing I, I i did hold resentment towards him for that but i can't because he's, he, he's got trauma and he's got problems mm. and the only he's way he, he knows to deal with it is self-medicate and it's but um yeah but my family like you know it's it's made me so to a certain point now i'm gonna make myself but um but yeah man like my mom she did as <laughs> the best she could with me bless her i, I was just a I, I was a handful but you know it's you had your trauma. You was going through your stuff. Yeah, it's true, don't man. Don't downplay yeah. because you're you're still you've still got a relationship up until today, which is a good thing, bro. Yeah. It's a good thing. It was yeah. a handful, but I'm sure you're doing things to help your mother right now, on I'm a daily basis. To. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, trying, you are, you are, you are. Yeah, I'm trying to help yeah. her help herself. Yeah, but I mean, even, there's, there's a saying: it's like you can lead a horse to water, you can't you, make you can it drink. drink. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's that. Is this that? But seeing you, let me let you know: seeing you, her son, being able to see your son is something in itself. 100%. To see the development in you is something in itself. Yeah. Whatever you're trying to help your mum do, what you've True. done for yourself is a blessing for her. Mm. She's looking at you different because you might have been a little tight because he was running around doing all the stuff he was doing when he was younger. Now you've, you've gone uh, 180. You're doing good things. That's a good thing, bro. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm nice calling you Brian Ryan. People did use to call me Brian. Though, is it? You know, you have to get, <laughs> take your flowers while, while you still got them and understand yeah. that because you said something about your dad's generation mm. and him, the trauma, and us keeping it inside. Mm. I think there's something about men or something about the sort of person you are. They would just say, Oh, I'm trying to do this and I'm just want, I want to do the best. Thing. When you're actually doing it, there's a humility mm. and there's people just like just, just a tenacity. Even you go, I'm a poet. I can't be so I'm saying a poet. But you are, you're a fucking amazing yeah. poet. Yeah, do you yeah, know what I mean? Nice you're a good son. You're a good person. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, this is all a part of what I'm. Uh, evolving into I'm evolving into someone that believes in myself and yeah. I, I know it's in my mind I do believe in myself yeah. 100% yeah. but what comes out of my mouth might sound slightly different but that's only because of the all the shit that's happened but yeah. that stuff slowly getting you yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. what's coming out now is like now you know what fuck this I am a poet I'm yeah. gonna fucking I'm gonna smash this in one way or another yeah. as I've been s- smashing it for myself so Can I know it's gonna happen go on do you wanna Smash on the mic right now. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, smash a poem out. You sure? Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. Fuck yeah. All right, all right. Uh, Anyone you want, buddy. I'm right, going to do pulls. the one you heard yesterday because that's go my then. newest go one. Then. Go on, go on. I like, like it a lot. All right. No, I'm going to close my eyes because I like closing my eyes even though you're yeah, very yeah. animated. I like to... I like to uh, <laughs> all right, I like this. Soak it up. All right. It ain't got a name, but it don't need one. All right. It's like, <clears throat> as much as I love getting my poems finished, I never want my poems to finish. It's the difference between living and just existing. A synergy. A type of calligraphy that mimics the kid in me. The soul collides with my mind's eye, creating chasms in this night sky. A contrast is great, 
because you build it. But I don't like DIY. Usually it's messy, confusing and heavy. And there's always someone expecting the outcome to be different. Opinions, yeah, you got them. But it seems like a lost art to keep them from pouring out of your mouth when they're not needed. Your lack of self-awareness isn't a very nice greeting, but obviously you don't see it. I know it's not easy to try and fix your problems, but at least acknowledge you've got them. Vicious cycles are too blasé, and I think the term friend gets banded around a bit much. It makes it harder when relationships get crushed. You get stuck when you lose touch, and then you go and try and find new love. Let's laugh a bit. Harbour the afterbridge. Park in the grass and part with the darkest kiss. I can't think, so I let the writing do the work. If you take this boy out of London and let him do spoken word, you know what's being heard would have come from his art. Mastering the craft used to be the bane of my life until I realised I was raised in the dark. It's in the past. I've merged with the worst version of me. We became best buds and now we're perched inside a purgatory. I deserve to be happy. We all do. Stamp your ground in this world and know that you're not someone's fucking horseshoe. <laughs> Unlock the door to adore you. You're not your battle scars on war wounds. You're a portal to fortune. The more you know this, the more you know this. It really is that simple. Idolization is just manifestation of you not loving you. But I'm no better. I'm right there with you. That's why I write each letter as a heads up and best luck to stop you from going through the shredder. So I tear up my art and these poems are the horcruxes of my soul. I hope they never finish. Lovely. Nice one. Lovely, 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 Thank lovely, you, lovely, lovely, lovely. My G! Ah! Katie! Got me gassed up right now. Come on, come on, nice come one. on, come on. I feel like I, I was feel... expecting you to do that, you know. No, yeah, 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 yeah. And I was expecting you to do that. You're fucking awesome, mate. Nice one, man. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. How <clears throat> how do you how do you formulate your stuff when you write? What comes first? Is it energy, an idea? Do you have a word you write from, or is it is it a multitude of different things? And can you just just slot mm. your metaphors in afterwards? Because you had Bane, Darkness, Horseshoe, Stamp. You call that one? I call loads of them. My. Don't beer them. I call it yesterday as well at the thing. Is it? Of course I did. You never know how it gets received. Do you know I what call I mean? all of it, but I, yeah. I, I like to keep quiet. Like as in when I keep yeah, you're honing on it. Yeah, yeah. I don't. And I, 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 you lot do what you're doing when you're doing it, but I don't like to be interrupted when I'm doing my poetry. Mm. I like you just to listen. Yeah, soak it up. Listen, don't click. Don't clap. Don't <laughs> laugh. Just soak up and listen. Serious, but yeah, do. I love that. But do you? I'm not saying everyone do that's them. That's proper artist shit. But I like to, right yeah, and I don't. Even, and I don't even like. I don't even care. Like at the end, you can clap if you want to clap at the end. Mm. I don't care if you clap or not. I like. I like all that stuff. Like yeah, yeah, you done well. In fact, I don't like it. I like performing. Yeah. And so if you notice when I performed yesterday, every time I finished, I was like, "As a tap the mic." Yeah, I did notice. I that. just wanted to go back. I don't. I just want. I want to give you something. But yeah. I don't. Wanna, I, like I don't always necessarily yes. want to take anything back from you. I know. What you I want to give you this. Yeah. Enjoy it. I worked hard on this. Yeah, hundred percent. Taste this cake. Yeah, it's my cake. <laughs> Eat the cake. And I love your poetry. But yeah, let's go back to the question I was asking you. It's a good What's question. What's your process? Man. Yeah. So uh, so far, because I feel like my process evolves. But so far, it's like I think the practice of getting anything on a page, you're working, it's like working out a muscle, like going to the gym is writing for me. It's working out that creative okay. muscle. Okay, okay, okay. And then once I'm getting them ideas down, it depends, man. I feel like sometimes it's because of years of rapping other people's raps is where the rhythm comes from. So I've got that. And everyone's got that natural, is it iambic pentameter inside them? Like the, da, 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 yeah. da. so that's there, the rhythm's there. The ideas come because I was just writing down. I've ri constantly been writing down it stopped, just it? stuff. Yeah, and then rhyme is like quite instinctive. Like again, that comes with my love for rap. Like because I've always rapped other people's raps. So yeah, it's something. Even if you think what you're thinking is shit, like still write it down because that's how. Because if you've got small muscles, you can't build them up. If you can't think, oh, they're small, so there's no point in me building them. Because I'm like, well, no. He, to, Anything, right? Do you know what I mean? It's the same with creativity. Get something, whatever it is, if it's drawing, you're a shit drawer, start drawing, you can only get better by doing. We're doers, isn't it? Animals, like, we just do shit. And this is something I've been thinking about the other day. I'm going off on a tangent here. So what? But, Can you um, still hear the noise? Slightly, but not when I'm talking. No, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. I knew it went, it went before. <laughs> you did. Oh, God, continue, continue. Yeah. No, it's like something I was thinking about the other day, right? So it's like, 
our brain is always constantly thinking for us. It's it's a constant, right? But I feel like, especially me, I try and do thinking for it. So it's like, no, 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 no. Do stuff. That's because then your brain gives you little presents, gives you little bones every now and then, which is like these fucking mad lines of whatever. It could be anything or an idea Anything creatively. If you're doing something, that's when your brain will give you the present. If you're sitting there trying to think of being creative, it's like, no, 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 the brain's already doing its job. You do yours by doing shit, basically. Anything, anything, do something. We're doers, isn't it? But I'm there as well. That's why I say in in that poem I just done, that's why I say I'm I'm there with you. So So when we write, we say, I'll pick up the book and I want to write. I want to write. No, all right, work, work. But the mind, sometimes you're, oh, you don't work like that. He goes, you got to do something. When you go and do something, so do, yeah. then because the, the mind's always working anyway, mm-hmm. then it will start to feel and give you stuff and then you can start creating and writing. Yeah. And then there was another thing he said, and I know you lot have seen it, you lot are watching it, so I'm recapping something you're watching, but I'm going to do it anyway to show I was listening because <laughs> I really liked it. He said, it doesn't matter what you do because like when you go gym, if you've got small muscles, do you stop working out? No. no, you don't. So if you only got a little idea, write it down, pen it out. Build upon it, and it can 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 become bigger. Some of the some of the metaphors and analogies you've given today, wow, that's yeah, why you're called Doc, motherfucker. <laughs> Shit, I'm, name, I'm, a doc, I'm a Doc with no degree. Yeah, <laughs> that should have been my fucking name. I like that better than Arcadia. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> Doc with no, no degree. degree. That's yeah, that's good. Uh, they're, they're my four initials, R K D R. Oh, nice. Yeah, so it was kind of like uh Someone, you know what? I was in a bath one time. So, what is your name? Go on, uh, go Ryan on. Carl Derek Richardson. Nice. So, I was in a bath one time, and I, you know when you just bath, mind wanders, right? Best place and to write. I, I, yeah, and I was like, I don't know. I was thinking of like because I used to do gardening. I was thinking of like a gardening business idea, and I was like, oh, Arcadia on the side of a van would be cool. I was like, because it's my initials, and I was like, that's fucking stupid. Like, I don't even want. And then like four or five months later, I came back to it. I was hung over massively, and it. it banged itself back in my head on a, on a hangover I swear sometimes you're mad creative I don't know what it is I don't want to be hung over anymore it's, but do you know I'm not promoting that evil no, it's, 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 there's, there's different there's different for me there's, like, there's different levels in your brain because I was some benders yeah. there's different levels in your brain because you've done everything you have that moment of, of uh, it's surreal yeah where your, your whole body's Weird. depleted or your body's trying to recover. It's just only your mind's working. Yeah. You, know, you can't do nothing because you're, 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 you've, you've, you've gone. Fuck. Like I used to just, like blaze after having a hangover and just be there. But the things that you think, you're thinking on a different plane, <laughs> it's almost the astral. Astral projection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. it's totally, I, I it's get weird. you because it's totally different to how you think. It's also when you first wake up or if you wake up in the middle of the night, your thought process is different in the middle of the day. Mm. It's crazy. I know there's there's, there's actually course, scientific yeah. thing behind it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's, it's because of the brain waves. But so it's, throughout yeah. the day, you access different brain waves. Yeah. I can't remember which ones it is, but when you wake up, that's why they told you to do meditation. Meditation was a big one, like way yeah. back into this interview. Yeah, yeah, that that's been a massive catalyst for me to get sober. But anyway, um, yeah, I haven't meditated. I've been like, I'm too. Far. I can't. I do meditate this every day. You know, you tell. I wish. I I wish. I want to start, but you know, like you just. I just had enough. You know, you had enough. You just have enough. You hit the hit the rock. No, I don't know if it's rock bottom. You just say, no. Like, yeah. I'm so proud of you. you know? Some, thank you, man. I'm cool. proud of myself, man. Cool. Like, I go, when I'm out on my runs, I'm like, cool. can go on, son. Like, sometimes I don't, but sometimes I do. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, what's it? This what's is the doing? journey, is man. Is he all right? What's he doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, mate, if people see me from their windows, I talk to myself. And I don't give a fuck anymore. Like, Good. It's um reassuring and just getting my ideas out from there to there, then on to there. Yeah. Like it's a process you know it's important mean? you know it's um, massively important it helps it helps my mental health 100% it's, but we shouldn't be ashamed of it I get ashamed of it sometimes yeah I can't do it and I'll quickly I'll quickly go like that mm. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to god now I'm getting embarrassed mean. and I put this in just I, to make people yeah. at, around me feel calm do you know why what? London's one of that weird paradox again I said it before but it is because it's like you can get away with talk because there's so many, especially like a place like, I don't know, King's Cross, where there's shitloads of people all the time. You can walk through, no headphones on, talk to yourself about whatever. This sounds mad, but no one's going to really batter an eyelid. It's weird, but I've got so used to that. It's like, oh, fuck the headphones, man. I don't care anymore. Yeah. I know what you mean, though, because sometimes I'll, I'll put them yeah. on just so I can practice a poem. Or but I won't get there, because it's like you said, that 
Because it's your life, I'm it's your stuck. mind, yeah. it's your mouth, yeah. it's your idea, it's your thought. I don't if, care if people I, think I'm crazy anymore. I'm rehearsing for a play <laughs> or I'm rehearsing for my poetry set. Yeah. What do you know? You're exactly. not doing anything for me, but I still get scared. You know that? Like, like, oh, of course. But I'm glad you don't care. It's good. I want to get there. Yeah, I'm start, I'm really starting to not give a fuck because it's like, it's like, it's like, if someone was to actually, which no one ever does, someone actually goes, are you all right, mate? I'd be like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come to the open mic tomorrow. You'll see what I've been saying. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. fucking good. Are yeah, you yeah, good? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No, and you ain't talking to yourself. You ain't good. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come man. on. Okay, no. But yeah, I, I can't recommend talking to yourself enough. Like, you should do, everyone should do it a lot more. Yeah. yeah. This is why the mad doc thing. This is where it comes out. Beautiful, Maybe beautiful. I should have an alter ego that says... The doc, I don't know. Bro, make it happen, ideas, dude. Ideas, man. I'm gonna get it down in my notes when I leave here. Anything? What's your ideas? What's your, ideas. What's your what's you've got your bag of ideas for me, man? Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait to do a collaboration piece. I'm, I can't wait. Is that happening? This is news to me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> what we got to do is just right. sit down, brain, but that yeah, works yeah. a bit. Think about a topic and that that we could go back and forth. We should You've go back time. and forth. You're a busy man, man. Yeah, I'll make some time for that, bruv. Right. Life is, you, make, you, you do what you want to do in life. 100%. You don't do what you have to do, you do what you want to do. Yeah. I've yeah. learned that a long time ago, man. Yeah. If you do what you have to do, is, what do I have to do? All I, all I have to do is die. That's all I have to do. That's all I have to do. Everything else is by choice. I only have to die. I don't have to go to the shop. I don't have to pay bills. I don't have to look after my kids. I don't have to have a girlfriend. I don't have to be nice to people. I choose all these things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't have to do these things. Mm. You cool. choose what it's by choice. Only have to die, you know. You only have you yeah. only have to die. What else do you have to do? It is, but it's a it's bar. The truth, at the bro. Same what time. How morbid is it? It's the reality, bro. Get out on a t shirt. It's the reality, bro. <laughs> what, what are you talking about? Everyone has to die. Of course, yeah, yeah. It's the only it's the one it's the it's only the universal you put it, theme. I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's real. I don't know yeah, any yeah. way to put it. It's, mm. that's the only thing I have to do. Yeah, People yeah. sometimes say, oh, you have to do you have to do. No, I don't have to do that. If I don't go to work, yeah, I'll be broke, I won't eat, but I won't, I won't yeah. necessarily die, but yeah. I don't have to do that. Do you know what I think it is? I think it was like, the way you said it, it was like, you only have to die. It's like, but as if dying's a task. It is. Uh, yeah, a one, yeah, I guess. It is, because my <laughs> task, well, I know all, really I, about that, all I have to do is die, yeah? If all I have to do is die, prior to dying, my objective, my objective is living. Mm-hmm. And that now everything's a bonus. Hey, every, that constitutes going to open mics, yes. taking a holiday, being nice to people, eating what I want, sleeping enough, mm. training enough, doing the right exercises so I don't feel too old and lethargic too early. Linking up with my brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are the things you know what I'm saying. Mm. So then I choose what I rather than not comprehending that I'm gonna have to die mm. or dying is inevitable. It's it's imminent. It's it's definitely happening. So thinking I've got like there's some people on the internet oh yeah you've got all the time in the world you ain't got all the fucking time in the world no it's now I mean, it's go, now go. I can't tell you now go time now <laughs> now what's happening let's go I feel like yeah 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 I feel like yeah your brain seems to work at the same speed as mine yeah, th- like, I told you I feel like it's like no 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 all the time but, but that's that thing I was getting I'm getting back to what I was saying earlier about um, f- doing the thinking for your brain when it already does it for you I feel like your brain works at a speed, whatever the fucking speed it works at, that's its own thing. When I try and slow it down, that's what causes anxiety and is like, nah, go with it. Run run with the pace. That's your pace. And I feel like, again, in today's society and whatever, like a lot of people, they try and go against the grain that's really them. For whatever reason, they do things that they think they like, but really and truthfully, deep down, they don't. And it'll fuck them up at some point in their life, cause, like in their head. Cause money. That's money what you're saying do, right now. But do you know what I mean? Like, Bro, I just showed you what you mean. There we go. I, yeah, did, but I do that. No, yeah. just, I do that for other people, not for myself. I'm, trying to, I don't want, I'm worried about other people. Yeah, I don't yeah. need to do that. But even things like down to like what food you order. Like that can be, that can come from like your dad always ordered food. And I read this in a book. This is a received wisdom, but like, say you order like a curry yeah, and it's like, I'm eating a mad spicy curry, but only because my dad ever did it. It's like, well, I don't really like that. Maybe I'm going to go for something that's a bit less. Do you know what I mean? Like, and then people start analyzing, oh, do I even like football as much as I do? Like it's a, I love football, don't get me wrong, but I never followed it as much because it never felt like me. And I feel like a lot, a lot of boys... Like my, my little nephew, bless him. Like I love him to bits and he like fo- follows football. And it's good for kids to get into that. But it's like, when he comes around, he's ma- football, football, football. And I'm like, all right, what else do you like though? Like there's an abundance of shit you could be fuck. And it is like, and I wanna, that's what I meant by people go against the grain of what's really them. Like, and, and unfortunately a lot of people don't seem to know 
what is them really you can't you can you can ne- yeah you can, you can never know until you try and experience and this you can new ne- shit man you new can't things. experience when you're do. when you're being there but it's hard to do when you're being you're given so many options without even asking for them it's like the first poem I did yesterday it's the yeah. same different thing how can you do so many in the world concocted of so many distractions how yeah. can you make a decision I started to hate when I was in the really bad part of like coming to the end of my drug taking years like I was starting to hate the internet my phone TV whatever but that shit's such a fucking good thing man because like it's never been so accessible for us to find out what we love doing never like in like we don't have to everyone knows this I'm not saying anything new but like don't need libraries no more, man. Like, it's it's there in seconds. Bang. Like, what do you like doing? I don't know. Fuck, type it in on Google. An abundance of stuff will come up and you can find out stuff. You can, th- there's just a massive gateway to finding out what your passion is now more than there has ever been. And we've really got to hone in on it, man, because mental health is so fucking important for us to, obviously, t- to go about ourselves walking this earth in just the best way possible for for us and for you know you find what you love you can love and radiate that and then everyone's you know a world's a better place if everyone's got a passion yeah so for me what you said has poignancy and also i could take away from it as well in a sense where you're right i i appreciate the fact i can pick up my phone and get certain information because of how my mind's uh my mind works and so on and so forth However, and this is this is some of your theory back. Mm. The walk to the library is the doing, and that doing could have brought something else out. Very good point. So it takes all different shapes and sizes. There's so many different formulas yeah. to win. There's no right formula. Yeah. So everyone's saying that no, nah, don't do that formula. Don't do this. Don't do that. Fuck that shit. Yeah. Do whatever do it you. is you want to do. Let me do yeah. me. And if it's wrong, I can come back and maybe learn from your mistakes or whatever. But just do. Like you said, do. Do, yeah. I know, I just contradict myself. Yeah, but at the same do. time... You I did feel... it, you're right, though. It's good to have the feeling of accessibility as well. Yeah. It's, 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 go on. It is. I feel like I'm coming from a place as well because I'm not trying to... Because I know what it's like to not want to leave the sofa, right? And I feel like there's a lot of that about at the moment. Especially like now more than ever. The fear of leaving so, the sofa. The fear of just not wanting to go out, but at the same time, you still you don't want to be inside. <laughs> so from spending so much time in there, it's, it's, it's the fear of not wanting to go out, but the depression of having to stay at home. Yeah, or vice versa. The depression of having to stay. Okay, vice versa. I mean, then. the depression of going out like, and the fear. Switch of, it around. Like yeah. it, it can work both ways. Yeah. Like either way, you know, even if you want to stay in and don't want to go out, or you want to go out and you don't want to stay in it's still a mind fuck so it's like maybe you're going against the grain of what you because all you know is to go to the pub meet your friends or you know when there's no football on or it's like all right well what else do i do it's like oh loud poetry i'm not really about this like well whatever man just like your phone's there to help you discover new and then get out or alternatively if you're just like sitting around plants you can there's london i think london's the greenest city on earth right i think I think that's the truth. Get out of here, is it? I think so. Whoa, that's so a first time I've heard that. So if you want to dwell in nature and you think London is only a city, it's like, no, there's actually a shitload of gardens in. It's the greenest you know, city in the world. I think so. Don't quote me on that. Google it. But I think it's at least Rio one of... No, I'm joking. At least one of the greenest cities yeah. in the world, London is. Yeah, man. And we've got... And again, I started to hate London. Is but, London the greenest city in the world? <laughs> You might have said it a bit quick for Siri. Yeah, I've got, I've got London Bridge here. London Bridge, yeah. yeah. No, I, I think it's one of, anyway. Is London the greenest city in the world? Here's what I found. London is allegedly the greenest city in Europe. There you go. Time oh, out. Europe? Yeah. UK, ah, UK, okay, UK's great, greenest city. Yeah, Europe, Europe. Anyway, but yeah, yeah, basically that's what I'm yeah, trying yeah. to say. Is even if you want to just chill in nature, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Which I think we all need to some degree. Yeah. And you live in... Yeah, man, that's what I'm... Yeah, so basically I feel like... I can't even remember where we came from. What do you think of tree hugging? Not literally. We was, yeah, no, well, we actually, fact, I speak we, to we, myself. So. We, were talking about, we were talking about how the, <laughs> the, the, the phone and getting information here or going out and just being in the, in the, in the environment or just just like, just yeah. change, not sitting on the sofa, not being too scared, not being too scared to sit on the sofa, but not being too scared to get off it either. Yeah. I think that's roughly what we say. Too much information and too much choice is also, could also be a problem there as well. Yes. I feel like some of the youngsters have just, they've got too many options that they don't actually do anything that's got substance kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Reminds me of that, that, that Mother Nature I thing. Think, I, do you know what? I think... A big shawl of fish where you can't catch one because there's so many of them. Young, especially for young people, I'm not saying I'm old, 
but they ha- they they're trying to live life like they've experienced it but they haven't yet yeah. and it's like but you, but you still go through that energy shift of teenagers um so it's like we've got all this access to this information but really the information you need is going to experience the shit yes. for real that's how you discover your art and all that sort of stuff but if you're 20 years old and you know I'm, you woke. Know, I'm not saying you're not I'm woke gonna be down and feeling stuff of course you are you're a human being but I feel like <laughs> there's a bit of a there's a weird thing where it's like a 20 year old is kind of feeling the experience of a 40 year old and it's like no that's not I don't know but that's because all of the stuff from people who have experience is now shared online so I'm contradicting myself again yeah. but do you know what I'm trying to say like, I feel yeah, yeah I, I kind of I don't know I went off on a weave there man. no <laughs> but you see with me yeah I could t- I could I could tell you because I've experienced both of them mm. yeah there's a crossroads at your 20s 21s from 18 to 21 22 23 there's a crossroads mm. from from the Mid thirties is a crossroads, but when you get over forty, there's another crossroads. Yeah. So it's it's We're about constantly evolving, isn't it? Yeah, but it's the it's the it's the evolution. Okay, so the evolution from eighteen to twenty two or whatever for me is like you're now an adult. Mm. Last clock. You're now an adult. <laughs> yeah. You're now an adult. Do you know what I mean? By and now you standards, and yeah. yeah, and everything comes at you for that. Yeah. When you're 40, there's other stuff. You're now an old man or you're now older and everything mm. like certain things are coming at you for that. That's why I think there's a, there's a, a, there can be a comparison in the two in the energy yeah. of the two, but they're two different energies because yeah, you're are, just, you're, you're facing the crossroads, but they're different crossroads. It's like, yeah. what am I going to do with myself now at 20? What am I going to do right now? It's very pivotal. Do I do the career? Do I do this? Do the, and at 40, <laughs> what's my 60s what, what have I done with myself it's, mm. more, it's, more, it's almost like what you said about the sofa and the thing yeah. two different ways like, what have yeah. I done with myself have I done the right things what am I going to do what much time have I got left it's a bit bad. so it's just like it's a lot I think it's a lot for human beings yeah man uh, yeah it's interesting because and I say this in one of my poems we've built this society based on our subconscious trying to protect us but it's kind of going back against us a little bit now um you know, do you know what I mean? Like, so we don't have to, you're good. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, like, so we don't have to kindle f- like wood anymore for fire. And, like, we've come a long way from cave days and all that stuff. So we've like got central heating and all that stuff. You know, it's a madness to pay for it. But, um, <laughs> but do you know what I mean? Like, so we've got all of this stuff and we've built all this stuff to protect us basically from the shit. That instead of having to go and hunt and make fire, we've got all this stuff like that. But is it really helping us? Because we're losing our basics. We're losing our yeah. That's the one. The fundamentals. Like. And I feel like we need to just double back a little bit and just be like, you know, that's why meditation comes in. Meditation is so fucking good because all you need is yourself and your organs to work. That's all you need. You don't need money. You don't need, I mean, you can wear clothes, but you don't really need them if you're in your own home. Like, I don't recommend. Anyway. <laughs> Stay naked. You know we know what you do in your house, dog. Like no, girl. but you know what it is, yeah? <laughs> so what you just said to me, you were saying something. What you just said to me is what it is. Because if you like... There's so many different tasks you'll go and do, which people are just throwing away now. I don't think half the younger generation now to cook a proper meal. Like God bless you, I don't, I don't know, think man. you do. You go if I'm going to kindle fire, I have to focus and concentrate on what you I'm doing. Do something. That, no, that's meditation. Until I yeah. achieve that goal, I've got one singular focus: creating fire. Mm. When I'm cooking, I have a singular focus. You're present. If I'm present. Yes. If I'm training. If I'm if I'm reading. If I'm performing. If I'm editing. If meditative. I'm filming. It's all different kind of meditation because you're, right. you're focused in. Do you yeah, get what I'm saying? 100%. It's only when you have nothing, like a lot of people, have, or they've got everything's done. That's when your mental health starts. Yeah, you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about the heat. That's worry about the food. Oh yeah, fast food. Oh. So what? I don't <laughs> I, have to worry about nothing. Like, that nothing. Sticks to my house. Yeah, you don't have what Uber there. Okay. Uh, yeah, it gets crazy up there. Yeah, I know what you mean, but like. With that said, you know, I love the fact that I can just go and... Like, I'm not I'm not saying I want to move into a forest and fuck, fuck the... I have wanted to do that in the past, to be fair, but that was too much of that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know what I mean? Like, there's... there's uh, uh, yeah. I feel like the role of being a human, ultimately, is that we can feel all of it at once. We can contradict ourselves. We're allowed to feel certain ways about this and that. And we can feel positive and negative about the same subject and it's okay to be contradictive it's okay to you know just experience it all at once and that's our role like and feel it all 
and more importantly feel all the emotions mm. when they're supposed to be felt and you know and <laughs> just yeah right. but I do think we need to just like chill a bit more like just like just sit yeah. with ourselves a bit more do you think like because I think also it, 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 it was better you had your drugs when you were younger because you, you know some people start taking drugs at this age and then yeah. it's, it's a downhill so it was necessary True. For that. do you know what I'm saying it's yeah. a whole different kettle of fish um, I'm yeah. not going to go back down that road though we don't have to work that mm. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions mm. but um, what do you want to what, 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 what do you want to do do you want to do your poem before or after the questions come on another poem mate got another one before, before. yes please he said before before yeah. hey before 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 Wait. yay I'll do another poem now if you yeah and, and, and it's not even if you got it I know you got it yeah I'm when just figuring ready, out which you, one to you do you figure out which one you want to do um wow okay uh, it's time to, to you know what actually yeah I'll do I got one called grief because it's and it doesn't sound as morbid as it is but it's just a story of me basically good because this is about your life that's nice what we're here for alright cool go now alright your own time nice one um alright it goes like this <clears throat> what what is there to fear <laughs> what are you doing here Look, I know you're me and I'm you, but just because we're two doesn't mean I have to follow through with what you're here for. I think there's a rear door. Sometimes less is more. So saying bon voyage to a part of the past isn't hard if you know where you're destined for. <laughs> yeah, there's a death in store, but there's no corpse in this shop. I promise you this is not a pit stop. And it ain't a race to the finish line. I shifted the gear because my heart rate would race when I finished lines. Coke doesn't impress me anymore, though. I've found another way to blow my mind. If I ain't writing something new, I'm editing what I've done, so it's all progression towards letting my dream come true. I could have been just like you. I was for a minute or two. Scattered views, battered and bruised, blazing with a squad watching Channel U, all the while tuning into you, being amused by my state of anguish. Yeah, it took me a while to translate the landscape but we don't share the same language it was a cover-up a badly dressed wound nothing more than a bandage you brandished slicing my innocence of your ignorance in two a memory a memory that remembered me it was a journey of discovery that was suddenly led by gluttony and tears because he couldn't see his peers are you gonna go and call a kid a pussy -o? when that kid was hand-reared by fear. There was a dexterity measure. He was under a hell of a lot of pressure not to burst. For what seemed to be his leisure felt more like a setup. Losing his temper for reasons he could never understand, and it wasn't that he was learning how to become a man, it's because the plan that barely existed anyway wasn't his. Hmm. You know what? I don't know if it ever is. Tread lightly when you stumble across memories because they can have you looking like you've lived for centuries. It takes ages to realise you're not mature but as long as you know where you're destined for you can always show that part of the past the rear door. Grieve because it sets you free. You just witnessed the death of me with the simultaneous birth of a destiny that was meant to be. Thank you. Nice one. So Arcadia in the house, man. Captivating you, guys you for listening, man. Touching your hearts and infecting your mind. <laughs> <laughs> infecting. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Like I'm a virus. Yeah, it should be a virus. It should be an infection in the mind that you understand you can think differently now. I like that. You understand? Mm. Yeah, think differently. Just 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 open up yourself. Talk to yourself. With that, have self-reflection. <laughs> and just don't be scared of talking to yourself. Don't be scared of challenging in yourself mm. don't be scared of going against the grain i got a lot from i'm getting a lot from you today but i got a lot from that poem right there and that's for you guys at home don't be scared of that mm. there's nothing wrong with it it's all it's a, listen to your inner voice people listen to outside voices way too much wait listen to your inner voice if it's chatting shit then just take to calm down a bit but <laughs> you know what i mean you know what time it is you know what time it is come on <laughs> oh wow this, this felt a bit of a churchy vibe there you know Huh? Is it? Pastor. Yeah. Is it? Oh like, shit. It's, it's almost like church. Sorry. No, don't be sorry about nothing. It's nice. It's just <laughs> like, it's just, that's, that's what I said. It's, 
in heart and it's fit to your brain, it's spiritual. Yeah, that's, that's what I get from you. What you're saying is spiritual. Yeah, yeah. You felt the energy in it, and that's be- that's a beautiful thing. It's interesting because my poems have really evolved since I've been focusing on my spirituality. Like I'm not, I, I wasn't raised in any faith whatsoever, which kind of shows through the drug use. <laughs> but um, yeah, you'd be surprised. But but you know what I mean. Like recently, which is another thing towards the sobriety, um, meditation, and you know that Sorry. stuff. Sorry. Is that you? That was me. <laughs> I was going to slightly <laughs> ignore that, but he brought it up. <laughs> what can I do? I'll keep it 100. I don't lie. I told us a lie, bro. You are human, man. Don't yeah, worry I'm about sorry, it. Bro. Um, yeah, bro. It's cool. Um, it's, like, like, it's happened before on, on the camera as well. <laughs> like, people are always saying, really going to like you, but hey, this is that. Life Talks. This is part of life. I love that. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> what it is. What can I do? I didn't apologize, but it's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, Go on. We're, 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 we're talking about spirituality. Yeah, spirituality. Yeah, man. It's just something that's recently been affected me in my life in a good way so I guess it's made its way into my poems so you saying it's a church vibe like kind of makes sense I guess it's good I'm not trying to preach though yeah, no. No. My, my my interpretation of like of poetry is is it comes from uh what was it again intellect emotion and energy mm. those are the three places I believe it comes from like mm-hmm. for me that's my is over the past. This is me now. That's my breakdown of it right now. If I was to think intellect, uh, energy, and emotion, like because we think of stuff, or it can be an emotional feeling we have that it comes out of, mm. or the energy around us when at a certain time, like you said. So it yeah. could be for me, it's any one of the three, or a culmination of any combination of the three at any given time. Mm. And how it how it how it comes out is is how it comes out. Um, it's like there's a cauldron of them three things yeah. that the brain does. Yeah. What you spill out is your art, I guess. Sometimes, sometimes, <laughs> some people, see the thing is, because some people just put, we just use in, 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 intellect. So they'll come with some really intelligent poets out there and they'll just come and it'll be very intricate. Da, 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 this word will link with that one. And this, da, da, da. It's really, really, you can see bang, mm. bang, 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 bang. Some people's like, like the girl yesterday, well, her name was, there was intellect and emotion, emotion in there. Emotion, yeah. Do you understand? Um, my poem, the scream mm-hmm. thing, mm-hmm. energy. Energy. Do you know what I'm and saying? And em- energy and emotion. And intellect yeah. is in there as well. Thank you. Because it takes intellect to put them rhyme schemes together. Yeah, there, there you go. But you that's the all difference. Because yeah. so, some people they have the they have all of it in there, mm. but they do what you said and they they, they they don't allow it. They just they're reading it from the phone. They don't allow for the energy to come out or the emotion yeah. to come out. It's solely intellect. Because then it's just solely what they're reading here. They don't allow it to to manifest and be and like Almost like Spawn. You see Spawn? No, what is that? Was that a film? Spawn, yeah. Is that in the early nineties? Yeah, Spawn, yeah, and he's, he's like all the fit. He's got a cape, and everything comes out. No, his I've cape. heard of it, man. Yeah, <laughs> you have to go and watch Spawn. But it's like almost like Spawn. Some people right. like they let their energy can manifest like that, and other people okay. have got it. Like they don't let it. They don't let their cloak do what it needs to do. Yeah. Basically, it's mad. But we're gonna get off of yeah, yeah, all the films. That obviously, we're gonna ask you our. our have you got a poem? Have I got a poem? Yeah. Do I have to do a poem? I don't know, it's your podcast, you can do what you want. No, yeah, thank you, I know, I, I can. Uh, you know that already, but yeah, no, you're but that's, asking that's, me. That's, no, that's why I asked you, because it's, it's, it's my podcast, but it's not my podcast, because... I, I know what you're saying. It's yeah. your podcast. Yes, please do a poem. That's that's the only way I'll do it. If, if you, you don't do me. one, you're leaving me hanging, basically. Fucking hell. All right, <laughs> all right, all right. So then, 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 then uh, the question requires, requires, what poem should I do? Mm. You've heard a few. Here we go. He's off straight away. Yeah, no, I didn't mean to. I didn't even mean to write for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Drop me out. It's in the blood. Yeah. What? Uh, didn't finished. Whatever one you feel is most. Whatever one you feel, man. Uh. Um. Right. Let's do that one. Like sometimes, I want to scream. I don't because people would think I'm mad well I am a bit but isn't everyone doesn't everyone have a moment when they don't give a shit Mm. a moment of madness when enough is enough when the going gets tough and the tame get rough well you just want to let it out scream and fucking shout like in the green mile Release the tension from life. Problems compile. Pressure 
bust pipes. And we don't get to do what we like. And we don't like what we get to do. Mm. Sometimes, I want to cry. Don't ask me why. I just do. Does that ever happen to you? Things get too much and your eyes give up and start to erupt. I choose to man up. Take my feelings and tuck way down deep, soul to soul. Keep on moving. Don't stop like the hands of time. It's better to address your feelings. More time, I subdue mine, which isn't good for the mind or the heart or the soul. And it causes me to lose control. Sometimes I want to scream. Ah! At the top of my lungs. I wait for the feds to come and fuck some up before they fuck me up and throw me in the back of the truck mm. and remind me that I'm shit out of luck. Because believe, the struggle is real. And that causes me to feel the next emotions. Sometimes I want to cause a commotion. Release my feelings wherever I am. Throw my toys out the pram. Act like a child. Forget I'm a man. Hard for you to understand if you're not a man. Because if you're not, you can. Cry when you want. Lose it, then prove it wasn't your fault. Hormones or age. If it's me, it's just rage. <laughs> I've learned how the game's played. Sometimes I want to scream. But I don't. Woo! Nice. God bless you, Ryan. Arcadia in the house. Arcadia in the house. I love how Come he on. just goes from like just and then to that energy yeah. <laughs> in a second. Arcadia in the house. I love you, man. This is love that, man. I, I love, I love, love people. human beings. Thank you, bro. I love good people, man. You're a good yeah, person, man. bro. Thank you. He's man. a good person yes. too. Just, I love it. I've had so much, I just yeah. I don't like negative stuff. So nah. and we've I've had so much negativity in my life. Yeah. When I have positivity, just embrace, embrace it. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. celebrate and be happy, man. Definitely. So many reasons. So much times on the sofa on my own like that. Yeah. Yeah. So many fucking times. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So this is this that's why. Woo! Come on! I've got to say, I'm glad you pulled away for I was a bit concerned that you pulled away from the mic when he screamed. I was like, because my eardrums are fucked as it is. So. Do you know how you perform that, though, bro? Like, uh, uh? like you said, you perform that different to how you would perform it. On stage? Like, every, no, every time you perform it, it's a, it's a, it's a new performance. It's, yeah, it's getting better. Yeah. It's, 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 it's different uh, nuances, yeah. but you, as you get more comfortable, you can then let it do what it's supposed to do. Yeah. Yes. That's what happens. Because like, yeah. you, when you start, because as a poet, there's a few poets out there as well. That's why it's good to get off your phone. You do it the first time, you have you make mistakes, wherever you strip away, you make the mistake there, then you make the mistake there, then you make the mistake there. And eventually you strip it all the way down to there are no longer any more mistakes. And it becomes your symphony. Mm. And you can dance with oh, it. And you can that. choose when or not to do certain things. And that's why it's good not to throw pieces, to keep working, workshopping pieces, workshopping pieces, workshopping pieces, workshopping pieces. Record yourself, look in the mirror, be comfortable. But I think the biggest note that I could give to anybody is what's the subtext? You know what subtext means, right? Kind of. So subtext is like, so the subtext is so, say like, I'll ask you, what's the best advice you've ever been given? Mm. And a subtext is like, I could be thinking about, like, the reason I ask you that is I want I want advice from you or I want to get something mm. from you. Like, it's just the way, it's just the, okay. it's the meaning behind the, behind the word you're actually saying. Right. Do you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, it's like the sense. underline is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, like, I love you. Mm. Like, subtext is I hate you. You know what I mean? Like, I love you. <laughs> like, subtext is I want to fuck you. You know what I mean? So, uh, I, right. love you, I love you, yeah, I love yeah, you, I love yeah. you, I love you. Subtext is I want, to, I want you to go. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. I mean, so the subtext is whatever, but then only you know the subtext of your writing. So when, you, when you're going mm. back to it, this is my only thing. When I go back to it, because when I go on stage and perform, you've got every all that you're scared. You're this. People are worried about this person thinking that. I want to make sure this word hits there. I want to marry this. Da, 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 da. Once you get past all that, you remember the subtext, then you can actually, like, how was I feeling? Like, you're I, free. Yeah. yeah. I wrote that screen thing because I genuine, genuine, genuinely sometimes want to fucking scream. Yeah. And I can't. Mm -hmm. no. But 
that's that's it. it. That was it, and that's all of it. I've done it. Like he said, it changes every time. Sometimes I've done it. I haven't given it what it's supposed to get, yeah. and that's still that's nothing to what that can be. Mm. Like just now, that's nothing to what we could, I could really yeah. do with that, and to even your purpose as well, where we can take them to. Because yeah. this word you can leave hanging, yeah, hanging in the air. Yeah. I've seen poet RS do it. I've done it by mistake, like when I forgot the line. But you ask a question, and you actually ask the fucking question, yeah. and let people ask it, like. Let them think about the answer before you hit them with the next piece. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because you only get three minutes, two minutes, five minutes, whatever amount of time to infect their brain. So if I'm going to infect your brain, yeah. Let me do it properly. Mm. Let me just let me just stop. And I think that's like uh, my poetry. That's why I didn't want to do a poem. That's not talking about me. My poetry is, is is me sharing how I feel and trying to get people in to my perspective and let them understanding that I'm going through the same things you've gone through. Mm. Or we're, we're both doing this. Yeah, shit, it hurts. But we, we got this. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Ultimately, that's the subtext is that we got yeah. this. Yeah, we got this. That's why we're on stage. Yeah, we got this. You, yeah. you, you're you going through it. I'm going through it. Yeah. Let's get through it. Yeah. That's it. Let's get through it. Let's, let's, let's live life. That's me. Uh, let's live life. Let's be happy. Oh, you bit shit, don't worry. You do better next time. It's all right. Mm. Keep it going. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Um, we're going to ask the questions now. We've got, still got time. I'll ask these questions now. You can ask me some questions if you want. You might be able to get another poem out of you. See, you got one out of me. You know, yeah, 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 fair, yeah, yeah. Maybe Max got one. Yeah, my <laughs> man. Arcadia of us in the house. Two of us have yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, Maybe. Matt, you got a poem know. for us, please, Matt. <laughs> yeah, anything, yeah, any, any, anything, for us, but yeah, but the wizard's gonna magic up something for us right now. Love that. Yeah, really love that. <laughs> At the end, yeah, he's chatting out, he's fucking lying, he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. And we're like, cut, didn't. <laughs> Listen, what's the worst thing you've ever seen? Ever. Like, yeah. what's the worst thing I've ever seen? Ever, 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 ever. And, and you don't have to answer these questions, yeah. and you can think about it and come back to them if you want to. What a question! What's yeah. the worst thing I've ever seen? Yeah. I think I'm actually quite fortunate because I don't think I've seen that a lot of bad shit. It's subjective, but... Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. There's definitely stuff that my brain... The worst thing I've probably ever seen, I probably can't remember because my br your brain does that thing where it protects you and it creates a lack of memory, right? Mm. Brain's mad like that. It never sees to invade. Um, in my conscious memory... Fuck. I don't know, man. We might have to oh, what's, what's, the, what's the best thing you've ever seen? Best thing I've ever seen. Um, again, that's a. Right, right, well, right, tell right, tell right. me something what? about you. No one knows. Something about me that no one knows. Um, <laughs> I wish we could turn this thing off, man. I got gas, man. Um, ah, mate, I got really boring answers. I can't think of anything. Any that, answers, fine. Any. Um, I'm a, <laughs> all right, I'm a, I'm quite, uh, to be fair, a couple of people probably do know this, but I secretly quite like a bit like Celine Dion and things like, like, Celine Dion like music. love, like love ballads. Like they nice. really fucking get to me, man. Yeah. Especially recently yeah. since like my emotions have been, I can feel them. Yeah. Like, I, I, like I've been wanting to like leave Adele. the hip hop, hip hop alone and like, yeah, like Adele, like Seal and fucking Celine Kiss Dion and, and, and stuff, like, yeah. Just music that gets to my soul like that, like that's that's nothing that no one doesn't really know about me. But that's that's the, the stuff I want to say. Supposed to, it's, yeah, that's good. Then it's good. It's good that because that shows that's, an evolution in you. Yeah, I, lately I don't know why I just been wanting to listen to love ballads. Been weird. You're looking for love. <laughs> looking for love. Yeah, what? or trying to forget it. One of the two. <laughs> What's your biggest inspiration? Um. At the moment, it's myself. 100% myself, man. I inspire myself. Um, nature as well. The power of the universe is a massive inspiration for me. F yeah, nature is... Knowing... Uh, this sounds fucked up. <laughs> but knowing that a tsunami can just wipe us out or a hurricane can just wipe... That inspires me. I don't really know why, but it's like... It grounds you, man. It's like... The fragility of life. Yeah. Just like, just knowing that at any given moment... You have to die. We are this... We are specks of dust floating in universe. Yeah. That's what inspires me. I'm like, I love that. I don't know why. I just do. Like, it's yeah. fucking... It does my head in, but at the same time, it makes me... I think that's why I love it, because it's like, 
oh, okay, let's do this now. Whatever it is I need to be doing, I want to do it right fucking now, which is what we were speaking about earlier. <laughs> so yeah, man, the, the, the force of nature, I guess. Force of nature. Inspires I like me. that, I like that, I like that. What's your, what's your, what's your favourite quote? Um, wow, that's a strong one, isn't it, mate? Fucking hell! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I don't know about if it's my favorite, but I liked this, and it's quite simple. But um, it's a, from a rapper called um, must know a Carla, right? I know him personally. You know him personally? Yeah. Oh fucking hell! Wait, 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 just call my little brother. Actually. He he's a massive influence of mine in general of life. But he said something, and he said a load of mad stuff. But this is actually quite something that's not that not that profound. But he said something on an interview once. He was like. Um, to be childlike, not childish. Okay. And I was like, it's not that profound. It was, it's quite, uh, but I think that's something that, because I was beating myself up about trying to always not, like I'm, can, can be quite immature at times, but it's like, nah, man, it's like, you're supposed to be, have that kiddish, childish, childlike, thing, not childish. Yeah. And I was like, I really like the way you put it. So that's the only thing that can come to my head. You watch, I'll leave this place and I'll be thinking of about 19 different quotes that so I, right. I feel like I should have said, but so that's right. what's so come right. up at the time. We'll do, we'll do, we'll do it when we do, when we do, when we do yeah. the poetry podcast. Okay. We might have to just get a, couple of, get a couple of poets around and just all just fucking chop it up. Might have to do, that. Might have to do, do a that. cypher. Just chop it up, just to sit down and have a good old yeah, have a good conversation and just play some poems out as well. That'd be sick. If you were a colour, what colour would you be and why? Blue. Because not only it's because it's not because Mac wearing a blue jumper, I promise you, <laughs> it's affecting my subconscious. Uh, no, blue. It's always been my favourite colour. Blue, yeah. Yeah, what? I think blue. Um, if you was an animal, what animal would you be? Oh, it's got to be a lion, man. I'm a Leo as well. Are you so a Leo? It's yeah. Be a, yeah, I think. It's your birthday's coming up, isn't it? 24th of July. I think I'm on the cusp of a Leo and whatever the one after it is. It depends on uh, what newspaper it is. Okay. But yeah, it's got to be a lie. I got, I got one of my children is 19th of July, the other one's 26th of July. Oh, there we go. Yeah. yeah. Have we got anyone else in July? No, that's all <laughs> I've got in July. My mate's birthday's on 19th of July, actually. His? My mate, one of my mates. Oh, it is, yeah, it? Yeah, nice. What's your, um, what, 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 what advice would you give to your younger self? Don't worry, man. It's going to be all good. Just keep <laughs> doing you. Keep following your path, man. You're going to be all right. I like Don't that. Worry. I like that. I could. I just saw your little... I said, <laughs> okay, Ryan, thanks. I just get over it, all right? Just get over it. What's your uh, uh, favourite favorite films or TV programmes? I'm a big fan of Ricky Gervais. Um, like that dry humour. Yeah. Um, my favourite point is when he got made to talk like an animal. In the Stardust. That's my favourite. I've not seen that. Actually. Have you not seen Stardust? No. I just fucked it up. Sorry. Spoiler alert. Right. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Uh, it's a favourite film or TV programme. Uh, I'd say... Uh, you could do one of mate, each. you can't... Oh, mate. That's like saying, what's your favourite music? Oh, it's like... I, it changes. Depends it cha on... It, 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 every, everything's my favourite in that moment in time. Yes, yeah, so go so. on. Give me something right now. Anything. Doesn't All matter. right. All uh, right. <laughs> I watched the other night. This is so beautiful, but I watched the second Harry Potter with my mum the other night. Oh, that was, that was a lovely Chamber moment Secrets. that we had. Yeah, Chamber of Secrets is my favourite one. Um, Why? That was because it's the one with the most mystery. It was like it kept you going, man. I don't know if is it Moan and Myrtle in that one? Yeah, yeah. 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 I can't, I can't, I'm a film buff, bro. Is it? Yeah, yeah Moan and Myrtle. Well Moan and Myrtle. Oh, yeah. the spiders in that as well. Yeah, the spiders. The and snakes. And, it, and, it, and, it, and 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 the car. Yeah, the car, the, the, car fucking, goes up in it, the, the car willow. Goes up in it. Yeah, yeah, there's the willow, so much yeah. goes on in yeah, that yeah, one yeah, film. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, it's yeah. the longest one. Don't Is quote it? me on that. Um, it might, it's one of. It was just the best one. When I see that first as a kid, I, it blew my mind, that one. I loved it. And yeah, I watched yeah. it with my mum the other night and yeah. I was like, oh man, this is a really nice moment. Do you know what I mean? Just yeah, sitting there eating yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. eating yeah. shit and watching Harry Potter. Yeah, but it's good. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. You're allowed to do that sometimes. If it makes you feel good, that's the beauty of living at home as well. It's a beautiful thing, bro. It is a beautiful thing. You can't buy those moments. I'm not going to have that one day. There's that as well, bro. Today I have that. So, yeah. Yeah. Three times, bang, bang, bang. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah! <laughs> come on, come on. I love your energy, man. Um, pet hates. Pet hates. Um, I love this. When I ask other people, they're like, what hates? What pets do I hate? Like, they didn't know. No, some people just didn't get that. Yeah. What is? Cats are quite annoying. No, I love cats. Um, I've got, I love cat animals. Yeah, I've got um, cat animals. Pet hates. 
Do you know what? I had I had something. I had a pet hate in my head a while ago. I can't fucking remember it now. I will go come back You're to you. You're putting me on the spot, Someone, man. remember my man, he said, oh, I ain't got none. Then he come out with like 20. Yeah. Jeez. He'd be like, oh, yeah. hey, I'm cool with everything. No, you know what? And furthermore, and furthermore. <laughs> um, I, actually, I thought of something. There you go. Pointless fucking objects that make you, that you just buy. There's a shop, like I think it's called The Range. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you know it or seen it. Or no, like, I don't know. But it's like, there's I don't buy anything like that, so dude. many pointless objects in this shop. I'm like, why would you spend 20 quid on a fucking a curtain holder when a curtain just stands there by itself? Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, like finish. just pointless, I, like inanimate <laughs> objects that just do nothing, have no purpose. A pasta holder. Why do you need a pasta holder? It comes in, all right, the plastic's like, it's not good and all that stuff, but like, just put it in a cupboard, man. I had an like, idea cu- for cupboards something other day. Yeah, that, like, yeah. yeah. It, Ah, yeah. That I'll definitely think of more when I leave here. I know I'm going to, but that, at the moment, that's what I'm <laughs> The afterlife. Do you believe in it? And if you do, what do you think it's going to be like? I love that question. Um, right, so I'm evolving my spirituality, as I said. So that kind of question is not... Uh, at the moment where I'm at with that question, I still... No, I don't think there is an afterlife. A, a life is how we can logically fathom a life. I don't think, yeah, I don't think we're intelligent enough to answer that question. I don't think I am, anyway, not yet. Um, I don't think I, I don't know if I ever will be. No, nah, um, I don't think there's an afterlife, but I, I, I do believe there's something in our spirit, and I don't know what it is, but it's uni- and it, it's it's all part of this universe, and it's all part of the same power. Um, but I don't, I don't think it's about. It, I think when we die, we lose our consciousness, right? So logic completely goes out the fucking window. And it's the idea of living becomes just completely redundant, basically. And a question like that to us when we die, it, it like nothing tangible will be even fathomable anymore. Like it won't, it's not. I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm just running with it. <laughs> like, you, I don't know if you get what I'm I do, to but say. I wanted to. I wanted to. I wanted to throw something into the mix there because I'm. This, this is my. Don't you think you'll just be like you know when you go into a dream state? No. You not dream. Oh no, I do, but I don't think it'll. Okay, be no, like no, that. no. You know when you go into a dream yeah, state. Yeah, yeah. You don't. You just don't even. Just like you just never wake up again. No, nah, because your brain switches off. Your brain switches off. Yeah. Like you, in order to be off. in a dream. Well, actually, fucking hell, you're going into it now, man. Yeah, so it, yeah, so I guess that's, 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 that's a debate that could be had, had like when you die. No one knows if, yeah, no one if knows. Conscious, like what happens with. So, but, what happen, and, but what happens when you're dreaming? Because when I go to sleep when I dream, oh, some of the stuff man. is so real. Yeah, it's like a factory, isn't it? It's like a dream, it's like a dream factory. I think it's a bad Some stuff's so real, it's just mad. So I just, that's, anyway, it's your show, not my show. So we'll ask you the next question. Um, uh, okay, in a, in a, one second, then they'll ask a question, I'll leave it. In a, in a, no, go and ask your question, because you don't ask many questions. Yeah, um, what's your favourite bar or your favourite poem of your own? Of my own? Yeah. Hmm, love that question. I can say don't ask many, but when he talks, he talks. It's, it's quality, not quantity, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Look at the size of the fella. Look at the size of him. Um, do you know what? It's one of the one that comes to my mind now because I've got. A, there's, so there's two. There's one I pre I've written a, a couple of months ago, and then there's a new one that I've written. So the old one is, um, it was. Um, I should probably ingest a blow dart to check if there's no heart left. A lost boy who can't see because he grieves inside my dark chest. That, for me, was it's fucking nice. powerful. It's nice. I loved that because of the image, everything that comes with it. But this new one, <laughs> it's, it, it's like, um, it, it's like, ah, fuck does it go? It's like, uh, governed by a trifecta that doesn't supply horse blinkers. Um... Uh, sinning from a church roof down to the nurse suits you bullies are savage you couldn't hash this one out even if you blazed them a rock and black spliff that I really like at the moment and that's and that's, that's, that's a, a new poem like that's that. gonna come soon so. I love it I love it I can't wait I can't wait I can't wait for your book you need to get a book together um, 
All right. Nice. Um, <laughs> you know, we I can't get, wait get, for get, a book either. Yeah, no, you're gonna, yeah, we need to get booked together. You need to get booked together. You so you make sure you get booked together. You get an album together. You keep going because you you got you got a lot to give to the world, mate. I'm gaining momentum, man. You got a lot to give to the world. You've got a lot to give to the world. In an in an in, 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 in an apocalyptic world, would you want to survive the initial blast or would you want to die in it? No, I'm out. I wanna I wanna oh. I was about to say a different answer then. In an apocalyptic world, you know, like you're gonna, you're gonna be, you're gonna live in a fallout. As and everything. long as I can battle, I think I'd want to live. Because if I'm not gonna be there battling whatever's here, f- trying to battle us, hmm. if that is the case, then no. But in an apocalyptic world, it could be anything. It could be us you're battling. Not like Waking Dead. It could be like zombies. It could be yeah, other human that's beings. Kind of what I'm, like whatever. Like yeah, it could be aliens. Not, not just necessarily aliens. It could be other people. Like just like on the rampage. If it's like, an apocalyptic world. I wouldn't just want to like find my little dome with my family and yeah. then just and just be scared forever. I'd You'd be, be like, out there doing this. your thing. I got a, yeah, I got a survive. Right, that's what we got to do. Would you be Negan? Have you seen Waking Dead? Negan. Have you seen Waking no, Dead? No, well, yeah, mate. I've watched the whole thing. Yeah, me too. No, I haven't seen. In fact, I've, <laughs> the I've Walking seen Dead. The end you of mean? It. The Walking Same Dead. Yeah, yeah. 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 Negan. Yeah, Walking, Negan Walking, was Walking. a fucker, man. Because he in series seven, man. He, he horrible. horrible. I haven't seen people. the end of it. I don't no, think I've seen the end. I don't think I've seen the end. I don't think I've seen the end. Um, they made the game. Oh, I won't watch it. Game of Thrones ending. I was like, what the fuck? I've not seen Game of Thrones. Never. Single second of it. Bro, you will love it. Yeah, I've I've heard mixed reviews. To be honest. Yeah, don't worry about reviews. Make your own review. No, no. Do you know what? I might put some time in. As soon as I'm unemployed now, I might just make it. No, I don't want to do that. I want to. Be out there doing shit. No, but um, it's, 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 it can be inspiring. It can be inspiring. I've heard it it be it's inspiring. It's, I think it's good. I think it's really good. Yeah, I've heard and a you lot. Like, you like Harry Potter and all that stuff as well, bruv. It's, it's nice. Yeah. And sometimes it's good to, even though they do this to us, it's good to lose yourself in stuff. Yeah, hundred percent. Was you gonna say something else? But no, I was just gonna say yeah. Like I've heard a lot of rappers. There's a lot of Game of Thrones bars. I heard one it's on the way here. Got a lot here. in it. What was it's it? Got it a lot like, in it, bro. It was. Don't fuck with a throne as dragons. I can't remember. Have you heard the Silhouettes Project, by the way? No. Oh, yeah, mate. I recommend it. I was listening to the album the whole way here. It's fucking the mad. Silhouettes Project. Silhouettes Project. Honestly, I can't recommend it to people enough. It's so good. Okay, yeah, we're going to... We're, we're just breaking down. We're coming down now. So what we got? We've got Apocalyptic World. What's this? What's it? this child of memory now? Um, how, would you, how would you describe yourself? Um... <clears throat> I say it in one of my old rhymes, modest and arrogant at the same time. Um, uh, <laughs> I'm like, do you know what it is? I'm like a picture that never, that, that is forever growing and gaining colours, but at the same time, Wants to be a painting rather than a drawing. Can I can I elaborate? Yeah. Your unfinished masterpiece. Ooh. <laughs> See, I was answering subconsciously there, but I guess that's what it's saying. Yeah, I'm, you're, well, I just I just take it from what you told me, and then what I know about you is well, you're an unfinished masterpiece. I know about a masterpiece. I'm an unfinished. No, you're an unfinished masterpiece, bro. Unfinished piece of art, I'd say. <laughs> yeah, no masterpiece. All right, nice one. Masterpiece. Yeah, this is this is the this is the, the shit I'm trying to involve into is yeah. talking better about myself. Yeah, it's good. I, I I get it as well because from what the the part of painting I see now is already a masterpiece. So if you're adding more to it, do you know what I'm saying? That's mm. that's what it's gonna be. At 31, Just some of the stuff grow, that you're, man. some of the information you're regurgitating, your ethos is the way you look alive, the way you're talking, the way you're analyzing things. Yeah. There you go. Nice one. That's what. Nice one. You. Love that. Nice one. You love you. <laughs> I think that's that's me for questions. Nice. If you have got a question for me or anything, that would be that be, you can ask it order for the wizard or anything. If not, you can see me putting my stuff away. So yeah, no, you let I, me know. I, I feel like I want to ask you, like, so what made you want to do this? Like, what? But well, maybe want to do what, this? Yeah, like what, him, like, him, <laughs> and his partner. Yeah, the worst behind the camera is not here today. Unfortunately, he did send me a message. Them two. They he, they saw and they said, no, nah, I can't do that. Go yeah. on. Go on, do that. You know, like, yeah, I'll catch. Catch the ball. Okay. Now run, Forrest, run! <laughs> <laughs> and that's what it was. And I just started, oh, yeah. and I just started running. And okay. I, haven't really, I haven't really looked back. It's quite easy. Um, it's good I'm to not have gonna, good people around you. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take anything away from it. And I'll, this will be it will be the 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 the, the, the reality. It is this is the reality. I can't put you any other way. Yeah. I had a conversation with this gentleman and his partner. 
And we sat down, we talked, we tried something before. It didn't kind of work. We were people in it. It just didn't work. And we sh- we sat down and spoke again. And like I said, he threw me the ball and goes, run. I goes, no, no, no. He goes, no. He goes, no, run. I know you can fucking do it. I'm like, oh. fucking run. <laughs> I started running. He's like, oh, he's like, stop that. I'm like, no, no. I mean, he says, no, 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 no. I haven't stopped I running. I've got momentum now. Yeah, yeah, yeah I haven't yeah, stopped yeah, running. Yeah, yeah. Since he told me to run, Love since that. he said it to run, Love I haven't that. stopped running. Do you know what I mean? And there's been loads of stuff. I've tripped over, of bust my lips, scratched my thing. You're going to. Yeah, but yeah. still run. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes, sometimes I've had to jump on his back. Sometimes yeah. he jumps on my back. <laughs> so that. yeah, he's, he, but we kept going. It's a big jump. Yeah, That's I know, I jump. know, no, no, no. He's got a strong back. Yeah, nice. Do you know what I mean? But Are yeah. we talking metaphorically now or literally? I can't, no, no, I'm, no, I'm, no. I'm no. We're talking, we're talking, we're before you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can't jump on his back. He could hold my weight. Nah, he, he, his body slammed me. Nah, it's, it's like it, 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 so. Love that. It, it, the times because I've my journey isn't much unlike yours, but my journey is my own journey. Of course. Yeah. But I've had my lows, my highs. When we go, when we do the hundredth podcast, I'm going to be interviewed, and I'll elaborate. I'm, I've got some really deep questions. Like someone's, in, if Carl's going to interview me. He's going to he's going to okay. open up the whole bag and ask me everything about all stuff, the reasons why, some of my dark times, some of my light times, mm. all that kind of thing. But like this is this as poetry is to you, and poetry is to me is extremely therapeutic mm. because I realise other people's. Uh, challenges, trials, tribulations, life experiences, and so on and so forth. What they've gone through, what they've achieved, and where they are right now. I can have. I can sometimes identify it. Sometimes I'm in awe of it. Sometimes I'm 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 learning from it. Mm. Any one of the three is, is great, but every single one of the three at any given time gives it gives me fuel to go on Purpose. another day. Purpose, yeah? yeah. So yeah, I'm getting my I'm getting my um my you saw that. So yeah. I'm gonna say on that note, yeah, I'm man. gonna say it's been uh. uh an utmost pleasure. It's been emotional. We've got so much more work to do together, you and I. Hundred percent. Doc, my pet name for him. Don't dig. Don't don't call him Doc unless you want to see some of that. And YM Richardson or Arcadia in the house. Thank you, man. Come on, one, two, three. That was a good fucking show. Now give me the straight one.